talent is in a much stronger position right now. I think there is inefficiency in the more legacy system. That means private equity sees that if they backed um, a, a, a you know an entrepreneurial producer or piece of talent and so on, they can see real kind of meaningful return. It seems that a lot of, uh, uh, of talents are trying to do this uh, now, and it seems now different than perhaps maybe 10 years ago, is there is capital to do it. There is capital available. Private equity is coming into independent film and independent television in a way that I've never uh, seen before. You've had these huge deals like Candle Media, which is backed by Blackstone, buying Reese Witherspoon's Hello Sunshine for 900 million or something. Um, but it's also happening um, on a smaller scale in Europe with smaller production companies uh, getting strong backing from private equity companies, um, which gives them real capital in a way that they didn't have uh, before. Why is this happening? Why is private equity suddenly seeing the value in independent film and television? And what does it mean for the independent producer, for the independent uh, director uh, that wants to take more control over, over the work they do? Look, I think the exciting thing is the fact that content up till, as you said, 10 years ago was a dirty word in business, right? Like, especially film was not seen as a very predictable um, industry, right, which is what private equity requires. And I think what's changed with the proliferation of streamers, the, the increased demand, and I think in our opinion, the, 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 you know, the barrier to entry has changed. I think talent is in a much stronger position right now. I think there is inefficiency in the more legacy system. That means private equity sees that if they backed um, a, 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 you know, an entrepreneurial producer or piece of talent and so on, they can see real kind of meaningful return. And I think that, uh, you know, is combined with a very open marketplace. Like, you know, you've seen, like as Jan was saying, 10 years ago, there will be films that, you know, pe if, if you took them to Cannes, people would not even take a meeting. Whereas right now, those could actually get made and actually succeed. And, and I think that's a signal that has kind of um, allowed real structured money because before film was often invested in more as a kind of indulgence or whatever. And I think those still exist, but now there is actually really meaningful players that actually believe in the long-term value system that we have in our industry. And um, I think it's gonna continue. I think we have to be careful of the, the big numbers and so on, because that, that doesn't mean there's, 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 I think, silly money around. But, but ultimately, the, the risk deal is a very small deal because you have a, a very defined piece of talent that committed to building a business and um, has achieved and shown success, true success as a producer. And that's actually meaningful, basically. And I think that maybe 10 years ago was never the case. And we're seeing this with more and more um, vehicles being created and, 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 and the right type of money coming in, supporting that vision and creating real businesses. And I think, look, for us, you know, um, part of what we're trying to do is also to build a real business with a culture, with an identity and so on, which in the past, you know, you'll be, you'll have a deal at a studio and you'll have a desk on the lot and, and, you know, you'll be a bit indulgent. Actually, now there's a chance to, especially in my opinion, in the international market, a, a, a chance to create really cool, exciting businesses, very similar to what the music business did, right? Like where all labels that kind of were linked to key, key talent had a chance to become real label and kind of um, not only putting out great content and IP from those artists, but also kind of becoming a home for, for other artists. So um, I think this is an exciting time where um, we're going to see uh, an interesting set of new generation of, 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 of talent and producer kind of taking hold of this. I want to expand on that, the, the home for other talent. And I, and I love that using the music labels. I, I know a lot of people in the music industry in the UK, you know, mini labels having the umbrella labels and they creating little, like, a uh, community. That community was really important to me. I went to the States and I, I started, I actually, you know, four or five years went by, I looked up and I was like, fuck, I was quite isolating. Um, and I, part of building this for me, really, it's not just about my slate. We're we're developing with other filmmakers, and it's I want a sense of community and a place, a sort of like a home, because like I need to be other, around other artists, and I like working on other people's projects. That's something I realised when I sort of exec Mogo Mowgli with Bassam, and they came to me very early, and I was like, you know, I was involved in all the steps. I was like, oh, I, I really find this fulfilling, and it sort of feeds into me as a filmmaker because sometimes you can be isolated and you're on your own for a bit too long. I think it's important to be around other filmmakers. And that's what, with Wayward, the, the, the name of the company, is we, from the, from the get-go, I was very, very sort of 
open to Thomas and Rogan. Rog 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 I want it to be autonomous from me. Eventually, I want it to be its own thing. It's not just servicing me. It's very important that it's a thriving, real business and a hub for other filmmakers where everyone really participates. We work on each other's work. And, you know, it sounds a bit hippie, but that's really important to me as well. A sense of community right now. Thank you.